is not gonna be a normal video. I'm still struggling. You me down. Me down. I wanna take a bit of a breath and share something kinda rough that I went through a little over a month ago that I've been just debating back and forth. Should I share it, shouldn't I? Is it a bad idea? What am I doing? I don't know. But I also would just like to have moments where we talk about real shit, like real life stuff that's going on. I hope you guys are okay with that. Um, if you're not, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Don't worry, the smiles, the laughs, they, they're coming back. This isn't this isn't like a, gonna be a normal thing. I, I just kind of figure at this point, if I don't force myself to be open and to be open here, then nothing's going to change. I'm gonna keep going through this stuff that I've been struggling with. So if you guys remember at the end of September, I premiered my film Lost in Darkness at Buffer Festival. It won an award. It was a very just big experience for me. Then shortly after that, I released the film here on this channel. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I will have it linked in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Now, I was in New York when I released the film. It was a Sunday afternoon, and that Sunday night, I hit one of my all-time lows. And I mean like lows, like wanting to give up on everything, low lows emotions or something else <laughs> unpredictable yeah, I'm so happy and I'm also just so sad there was just a lot of uh, confusing feeling overwhelmed mixed emotions happy sad so the next day Monday I went for a long walk and I found myself on uh, a pier kind of overlooking the harbor and I sat down turned on my camera and recorded a video diary of just what was happening in that moment and here's some of that I've been having to do a lot of learning <laughs> lately, uh, learning about myself and about life and how to handle situations and even when situations suck. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, after Buffer Festival, right, and like premiering the film, winning that award and like all of these people celebrating around me, I thought that I was going to be like super crazy excited for and like happy for a really long time. And the reality is my brain did its thing, got the better of me, and literally the very next day after winning that award, I went into one of my dark moments. And my brain was like, well yeah, you won something, you got acknowledged for something, that's great, that's cool, finally. But like, you'll probably never live up to it again. Or you may never do anything that good again. Or maybe they made a mistake. I very thoroughly realized uh, in that moment that I am so good at beating myself up and not allowing myself to have any good moment. And like, I just tear myself apart. And I wonder like, do you guys relate to that? Like how many of you guys go through life kind of like that. And it's like, we are so good at, like, at complimenting other people, being supportive of other people, but when it comes to being supportive of myself, me supporting myself, I'm just so good at breaking myself down. And that's something that really has got to change because it's fucking miserable. You know what, before I continue this, I wanna make sure that this is an active conversation. So I'm gonna ask you guys something kind of weird, but would you just, if you're comfortable, leave a comment right now and tell me something that you have been struggling with. I, I know that like most people on YouTube are like, oh, let's just talk about the positive, happy, fluffy, wonderful things, but life isn't always great. It's not always amazing. And sometimes it's challenging. Sometimes there are struggles. Sometimes it seems like the struggles are there more often than not. If you guys don't feel that way then uh, tell me your secrets please <laughs>
I think it's, it's very easy, at least for me, to hold on to the dark stuff, the dark side of things, because that's where I've lived for so much of my life, and that's where I feel I'm only worthy of the bad things. And so, when the good things happen, I don't allow myself, I just don't allow it for me. It's like, I mentally am like, yeah, but I'm not deserving somehow. I think that's what I do. I wait for something bad to happen, which like, what kind of life is that? I don't know if any of this is making any sense. But I have learned at this point that I have a level of just work-related PTSD from what happened with my last channel and all of the years that I put into that and the just terrible thing that happened uh, there. I'm just constantly on this edge and this fear and this terror that everything is just going to be destroyed instantly again. And so it sends me into these anxiety and panic moments and just all of this stuff comes flooding back up and that's what I really need to work on controlling at this point I, I go through these periods right where like I put so much expectation on something and so like because I'm like such that perfectionist and it's never good enough and like it always can be better and therefore I never allow something to just exist and live and be what it is and be good I, I kind of feel like over the last several months that I've been getting reintroduced to myself if that makes any sense like I'm meeting me for the first time again and I wonder if any of you guys have ever felt that way or I don't know maybe want to feel that way I, maybe I don't, I don't know if this is a good thing or not I'm still figuring this out I've been learning so much more about mental health lately and just how mine has just not been in a good place for a very very long time and I was neglecting it for so long it's <laughs> it's been rough it's been really rough I'm also learning just how much I wear myself down with self hate and I wonder if you guys can relate to that as well little by little I wear myself down little by little by little the film yesterday and I gotta be honest with you like I went immediately I went into that like dark zone in my mind and thought oh my gosh this is worthless I'm worthless what am I doing why am I doing any of this this is you know like all of these things I got really down on myself and I just kind of questioned whether or not I wanted to do any of this anymore because I figured what's the point I am useless <sighs> I don't know why my brain defaults to that. I don't know why. I don't know why. So in all of this process, I'm thinking, how do I want to rebuild myself? Or, or rather, how do I want to build myself from the ground up if, if it's possible that I wasn't even really built right in the first place? And I wanna ask you guys the same question. How do you want to build yourself up? In fact, let, let's rewind back. Remember that first question that I asked you guys to post a comment letting me know what you're struggling with? If you don't mind, take a moment and just uh, leave another comment or add to that comment and and it, let me know one thing one thing that you are willing to commit yourself to doing to make it a little bit less of a struggle there's gonna be good moments there's gonna be great moments there's gonna be bad moments there's going to be okay normal flat moments and that's just all this whole process of life and living and what's important for me personally is to not be so just dramatic in my mind about it, especially if it's something bad, and to just learn to start letting go a little bit. If I were to just look at one component of my life that you guys are very aware of, and it's the starting over with this new channel, as much as I felt like what happened to my last channel was a curse, I'm, I'm now starting to feel like maybe it was a gift. That I had to be cursed, in a sense, in order to be blessed. And in turn, I want to build that blessing, this blessing, this family, into something powerful. I'm learning now that when I have these like great moments and things that happen, to just really allow allow myself to live in that great moment and not beat myself up so much or start anticipating when the bad's gonna happen again. 
because when the bad does happen again, I've got to be able to get through it easier. I have to find ways for it to get easier to deal with instead of just crushing myself because bad has happened and how dare I go back into a bad time when I should be just thankful and grateful and everything is amazing. I want to just swoop down on all of those things in life that I was afraid to go after, that I let my anxiety get in the way of and just, just swoop in and just grab it and snatch it and squeeze it until it just, ugh. But I, I, I don't know, I want, us, I want us all to do that. I want swoop to become a movement and I'm working on some some just really epic, amazing things uh, coming in the new year on this channel that I think are really going to help propel that forward. So more on that another time, but let me say this. While, while I know that so much of my life has been just living in that darkness, has been lost in darkness, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready for a change. <sighs> And, and I want to finally step into that light and to just take life for all that it has to offer. <sighs> that sounds pretty good.